senators and members of our executive and they have supported me in my responsibilities and on this prayer breakfast day I want to thank God for all of you and wish each and every one of you well as you uh, journey into the future. I also want to thank my brother President Uhuru Kenyatta who's been my boss and leader for the opportunity to serve with him the people of Kenya. My friend President Uhuru Kenyatta as you head to retirement is my prayer that God will give you every aspiration of your heart. And make it possible for you to enjoy the legacy that you have built and to enjoy every piece of the time God will give you. That's my prayer. <clears throat> to the great people of the Republic of Kenya, I know we have tried our best. We may not have done as much as you would have expected of us. We have failed you in some areas. We haven't we have, we have not been as united as we should have been. We have failed in some areas. We ask, and specifically myself, I ask for your forgiveness. I also know that uh, serving as Deputy President, I may have fallen short of expectations of my boss, His Excellency the President, my good friend, I ask for your forgiveness. I know also in this journey, many people have hurt me. But on this prayer breakfast, I forgive everybody. I want us to go into this election free of the debt of heart and free of the debt of forgiveness. We are all human beings and the Bible says in Isaiah 1 18, we have fallen short. So where we have fallen short, to all uh, my friends, na waomba msamaha, na kila mtu ambaye amenikosea pia, na msamehe kila mtu, with a clean heart. So that we can transition, because this prayer breakfast is about transition, so that we can transit into the next phase minus any debt to anybody. <clears throat>